Hello YouTube fans, I'm back again. And as you know, I'm now about to review another film from 1988, an erotic thriller. That being Out of Dark, done by producer, a very popular film in 88. But the thing was, it was a psychopath dressed up as a town named Bobo. The series just saw the seedy side of the sex business, as it starts off with a girl already wanting to get a job. That working in a set's phone line. You know, talking dirty to your everyday purple. And it just down to shows you how seedy the business can be. You know, it's people just talking filthy and getting everyday saddles off. But then it gets serious as you get a fucking psychopath who wants to also get off, getting off and killing women who work in the business. It down to sort of seedy side. But also saw the side which two sets a bit over the top. Beautiful women, very sexy, and there's a die that likes to take photographs. It's a more it's a more of who did it and why they're doing it. Kind of like a murder mystery. You get a long lad who feels like he's getting set up by this die, who tests his up as Bobo the town. He tests his up as a town. Pretty fine in parts, especially when there's a deer walking a dog. Bobo's there. Next thing you know, the deer gets it on the head. He definitely doesn't fuck about on the blood and door department, as well as the seediness. There's a lot of dark and dirty in it, and there's a bit of bonking in it. But in all fairness, when you get to find out who the killer is, you tend to think he's a bit fucking stupid. Too many red errands. And the killer makes so many mistakes, it was surprised he never got caught. Caught by stupidity. But I won't want to give it away. As the killer says in the movie. Bobo the fucking town. But out of that. It's definitely a CD type of erotic filler. There's a bit of bonking like I say. The death scenes are pretty brutal. And the killer doesn't fuck around in killing the women. The only thing is there's some bits where it does feel like it's cheapened. And you've got the main detective. You don't see these actors anymore, and I'm not sure if he's no longer with us or not. But you may remember him in the back in the 80s and a bit of the 90s. Remember Batman? The scene where the Joker says, done, and shoots him. And the, and the scene where Jack Nicholson shoots him. That was him. And do you also remember him in Silence of the Lambs? The scene where they're doing an autopsy. He puts things on his nose. I kind of feel he was mistasked as the detective. And he comes across being a bit dopey as he makes a lot of fuck-ups. And at the end, when he finds out who the killer is, I felt the killer was a bit stupid the amount of times he makes the mistake. And then, I don't want to dip it too much away, but the killer, when you watch the film, you would tend to think he's a bit dumb. Especially a scene where a prostitute gets killed after having a bit of ram-bang thank you, man. Without giving it too much away. But what it is, it's not really bad. If you're going into it for a murder mystery and you're going into it for bonking, and so on the seedy side of the sex business, and you're going into it for the blood and door, you're definitely going to get it. But as for the expense, when you find out who the killer is, he definitely is Bobo the fucking town, because he is a fucking town. Town, in the sense, that is fucking stupid. Other than that, Out of Darkness from 88, not a bad one. So for that, two star rating. Other than that, have a dud one.